Hey, hello guys, how you doing today? Anyway, I'm on the uh, on a day cruise around town and listening to the radio and I decided to uh, make make a little video about what is going on today on the uh, on the public radio uh, what I call the BBC London because they're completely taken over by uh, by the English and yes that include Mr. Um, uh, uh, Rick Steve and all these guys I mean they're really into it I mean they're doing political videos now on, on YouTube I mean it's amazing <laughs> they're really a bunch of sellouts anyhow uh, they're talking about the census they, uh, I don't know if you know this you guys are there in Europe or on, around the world uh, in the United States our constitution uh, mandate a census the the counting of all all people in the uh, in the country or in the federation I should say and this happened every 10 years so now we have one coming up and uh, Mr. Trump uh, the president of the United States he want to add a question and the question is are you a United States of America citizens and Everybody is against it, and I'm not. I'm not against it at all. I think we should ask whatever the uh, the federation wants to ask. But let's uh, let's go farther. Let's uh, not just ask, "Are you a United States citizen?" or "Are you a United States of America citizens?" Let's go ahead and start asking questions like uh, are you united in the United Kingdom are you uh, 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 will you uh, defend the United States the Constitution of the United States uh, are you uh, your family is there is a uh, is how long has been here uh, how many generations uh, your family have been here and uh, we should ask uh, how many how many times you have caught a lion, how many times you have caught paying for sex, <laughs> how many how many times you help a foreigner to become a United States citizen illegally, and and all these questions should be asked, and I I think you know that should be asked, and, and the first we should ask. Two is the president of the United States of America. Uh, no lying, guys. No lies at all. This guy is a first generation born in the United States. He got business and collusion is not a well. He he's on by his name in around the world. Without it, he'd be a zero. He has no money. This guy is just a con artist. And now guys like Jeff Bezos, uh, uh, all these, you know, true Americans, uh, they live in this country and create wealth for our nation. They, they, they been harassed. And I think, yeah, we should ask the question in the census. Are you feel something for your country? Or are you just a con artist? that doesn't care about your country. And yeah, that is the question which you ask, uh, including including our president, the president of the United States of America, uh, which you also ask, uh, are you feel white? And what is it? How, why, who told you that you are white? <laughs> who told you, what do you learn that you are a white supremacist? <laughs> what do you learn that you black? What do you learn the you Hispanic, where do you learn all this crap? Uh, I think we should ask all that in our senses, and and a, uh, and it should be mandated. You, you should be a, you should be mandated to answer those questions, especially the one that uh, you love your country, uh, especially a guys like Rick Steve guy on NPR and Lulu and all these people. They go out there every Sunday and have shows like. Uh, Latin names? 
that is so funny when they say that. I mean, I used to actually laugh about it. The sad thing is that the vast majority of our citizens, they are so uneducated. They are so far behind from reality that that is sad to say it is their reality. It is what they believe. They actually believe that they're white. And, and the white is a, 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 how can I say, an identity. And it's nothing real. It's all created in their minds. So yes, we should ask for census on uh, uh, on, on the census. This, you know, coming up. We should ask those questions. And when, and, it, and when Trump attack you, respond correctly. Every every single time I see a politician on television, it breaks my heart. How they they don't know how to answer, or maybe they fear, or maybe they are losers, because that is exactly what the president of the United States of America is calling the best that we have, losers. And maybe they are losers because they don't know how to respond. Now, I will respond if the president of the United States will call me loser that I now, I will respond something like this. I might be a loser in your eyes, but every woman that lays her eyes on me want me because of me. I know how to pay for it. <laughs> I, know, <laughs> I know how to buy any woman. They, they with me because they want to. <laughs> and I do my best to, uh, how can I say, make, they, make them feel powerful. No, like poor Melania Trump out there, she had to walk around with this old guy, 72 years old, fat, because she had to, uh, to improve herself. You know, she's coming from Europe and her whole family is depending on her. And that is the, the very reason that she's there. I can assure you of that. Well, I don't have to pay for women, but many congressmen out there, many people out there, they they fear Trump because because Trump called them uh, losers. And, and I believe that they are now because they don't fight back. And I'm telling you, uh, Congress, fight back. Fight back because we need you. We need you, uh, Hollywood. We need you. We need the army. We need everybody united, no, no separated. Forget about all these uh, races and groups and colors and right and left. All this philosophy that you are creating are destroying us. It's not real. It's just created on television. If you shut the TV off and come and talk to me, hey, it will be a different world. So, hey. Uh, guys, I wish you a nice, uh, nice holiday. I just really tuned today after listening to all this crap on the radio about the question of being a United States of America citizen. And I will answer yes. And I also will answer my, my country will be defended from the English and from Trump and from everybody else's they want to separate us. Like Mr. Biden, uh, that guy is insane. That guy, I mean, what? Well, it will be another video. Anyway, saludos.